Hi there. Today we're going to show you how to start a partnership in New Jersey. There's an online filing system that's super easy to use and um, really user friendly. Shouldn't take you too long at all to get your entity up and running. So, first thing you'll have to do is decide what type of entity you're looking to create. Whether domestic or foreign, there are different types for each. You got limited partnerships and limited liability partnerships, as well as um, general partnership. But that's just a bit different, but um, let's focus on um, LPs and LLPs. So the first thing you have to do is decide what name your business will operate under. If you click on this link here, it'll take you to our tutorial on performing a business entity search to uh, search the database um, of the state to see what names are already on file. Um, you may also want to reserve a name by filing the application for name reservation which will allow you to reserve a name for up to 120 days prior to registering. Um, this can be useful to those if you're looking to um, secure a really good name um, before you, you want to register your company or if your filing process is just taking a bit longer than you thought this is definitely beneficial. So moving on um, we have tutorials for each type um, linked on the right here. Um, as you can see um, domestic LP or LLP they're both uh, they're both categorized together they have a very similar registration process but there are a few differences between each and the differences are specified in the heading of the step so as you can see here um, this one says LPs only which of course is for limited partners uh, excuse me limited partnerships only then if you look below this one says LLPs only again LPs only so if it says that then it's specific to that type of entity if not then it's relative to both and what you're basically going to do is log on to the Department of State's website um, follow the steps that we have here as you can see you start with one two three so on and eventually it'll take you to a payment option which I'll take you to down here in which you'll have to supply a filing fee and the fee for these are um, generally $125 and um, this fee will have to be paid by credit card or e-check and that's it for the registration process um, there's a couple things to note though that if you are a foreign entity you will have to supply a certificate of good certificate of good standing and this can be done by um, uploading a file from your computer in the form of a photo or a PDF there's also is an uh, an option to apply through the mail and if I scroll down here I have a little heading here um, if you want to just click the link here it'll take you to our tutorial on that the system is a lot different and uh, a bit more complicated but if you'd like more information click this link and um, click this link to find out more um, so before signing off here there's a couple things to note um, you're gonna have to apply for an, an employer identification number once your registration has been completed and an EIN is something uh, that the IRS requires of you and it's basically like a social security number but for your business and this will allow you to um, hire employees apply for loans and make accounts and a number other of uh, necessary business transactions so to apply for this you can click on the link here um, and this will take you to our tutorial on that or if you'd like to jump jump ahead and just apply online you can click here or apply through the mail by clicking this link here and downloading the PDF available. A partnership agreement is something that's not legally required by the state but definitely recommended by us and what this is is a uh, agreement set in place between your managing members to define roles and responsibilities of each member involved as well as certain day-to-day -day operations. Um, basically it's a, a really useful tool to maintain the smooth operation of your business. If you'd like to download it, we have um, supplied a tutorial here. If you want to click this link, and it's available in both PDF and uh, Microsoft Word. Um, lastly, um, each entity will have to renew with the state to remain in good standing. And this must be done annually on the last day of the month in which your entity was formed. Um, and this can be done by clicking on this link here which will take you to the online filing system where you'll have to submit your business information as well as a fee of $50 and that will um, renew your entity for a year. 
So that's it for the registration process and creating an L, uh, excuse me, and creating a partnership. And um, take the time to uh, look through these links really carefully and read over everything as best you can. And that's it. Good luck and take care.